Hello, hi guys, it's Inam here and welcome back to the cupboard and today we're going to be looking at the Netgear Orbi. I've been having some issues with my Wi-Fi, I've got a tri-band router but it still doesn't seem to cut it in some parts of the house. So we're going to be using a mesh system from Netgear called the Orbi. Here we go, the Netgear Orbi, better Wi-Fi everywhere, hopefully so, hopefully so. As you can see this is a, a two device kit, high performance AC3000 tri-band wi-fi system box is very very minimalistic here you got some details across the back here you know what it does if you're looking at this device and if we get to opening it up now it's sealed everywhere so let's see if the knife can get in and just on the back here you've got some more details what's in the box obviously this is a two unit package as you can see here, two adapters, two uh, devices, one router, one satellite. Uh, what you need it to work, how big it is, some technical specs here. It's got a 2.4 gigahertz radio and a 5 gigahertz radio. It's got two 5 gigahertz radios actually, one for the backhauling, uh, just for the infrastructure, and then you got one for the devices, and then the 2.4 for the other devices. Four gigabytes of flash uh, memory, five gigabytes of RAM. As you can see here, six antennas built into the device and Moomimo capable. So uh, let's get to see what's inside. I slide this thing off. Whoopsie, there we go. All be, so let's get to uh, putting this on its side and we can have a better look. It's just the top half should come straight off. So let's uh, get to doing this with one hand. Ta -da! That looks cool. So you got the quick start guide here along the left. We'll have a quick read of that. You've got the the router on the the straight on the top here. This is a pretty big device to be honest. Look at that. And if I've got my pixel here, I can show you just for reference. That's pretty massive. Okay, so we've got the router here. We can take that out. Uh, let's have a quick look at it to be honest. So nice kind of bluish greenish color along the top and you got the ports along the bottom here so internet ethernet usb 2.0 power reset sync standard stuff really plenty of bulbs bulbs plenty of grills here for ventilation and you've got the serial numbers whatnot across the bottom so yeah this is the router so let's take a look where the satellite is. So lifting this off because there's nothing else in there. Here we go. So we've got some more documentation here, some uh, quality information there. And this is the satellite. If the word satellite didn't give it away, that is. <laughs> so yeah, similar sort of thing. Plenty of grills, all be branding. It's got this matte finish. It's not glossy at all. And you can see it's not even a, a fingerprint magnet here. So along the top, you can see this hasn't got that blue greenish hue. It's just a standard matte white finish and you get a glow of LEDs around the side here. So this symbolizes that this is a satellite and the other one here is the router. So similarly along the back of here, you've just got ethernet port, USB 2.0, power on and off and DC for power. So that should be in terms of what's here. Yep, there's nothing else in there. So let's see if we can actually get this out without having to smash up the box. But yeah, there's nothing else in there so we can get that out of the way. And let's have a look what's inside this box here. So not the easiest to do with one hand. I need to get a tripod, I think another one. Another one. So yeah, what do we have here? We've got some flat what looks to be cat5 cabling here uh, yep cat5e flat cabling cool love a flat cable so get rid of that and we've got the power adapters here for both the devices so power bricks pretty big obviously a three pin UK power adapter as I'm based here in the UK so that's pretty cool and this pumping out 12 volts at 3.5 amps looks and feels pretty
pretty sturdy to be honest and we should have the same across this side same one exactly the same power 12 volts 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 at 3.5 amps and what else do we get in here nothing that's completely empty just empty boxes to keep their power adapters in so this is essentially what we've got two power adapters a cat 5e flat network cable you've got the satellite device here and you've got the router device here so hopefully these devices here will get rid of my wi-fi problems so before the netgear it will be i'm in my dining room here where i get occasional dropouts sometimes it's good sometimes it's bad i'm connected up to my network las vegas it runs on the 2.4 gigahertz frequency and uh, it looks pretty good there to be honest if we're going to wi-fi analyzer you can see it's actually quite low 72 dbm uh, 86 megabits per second there so what we're going to do is do a quick speed test here last time i did it was around 38 meg down which uh, was a couple of minutes ago so hopefully uh oh that's a bit slow isn't it so i did say it was a bit erratic so 23 meg down ish and it's going to be a couple of meg up now this is the other room where it's struggling this is my bedroom so again still connected go away, pewdiepie uh connected up to las vegas uh still 2.4 gigahertz and if i go here you can see it's still pretty low another speed test here hopefully we get a, a fairly decent speed so yeah you can see there it's rubbish less than 2 meg down that's terrible and 10 meg up that's really strange we'll do it again that's a little bit better you do get some anomalies sometimes so 29 meg down and it's going to be a couple of meg up that's the upper bedroom which is what i really wanted to cure okay so i'm at my first location where i'm going to plug in the router of orby roughly around about the middle of the house ish so we're gonna plug in the power adapter it's pretty big and i might as well lie that down as it's pretty big i've got a cat 5 cable here so i'm going to plug it in to my wall switch i'm going to turn off my existing wi-fi and use this instead so i'm going to put it into the internet socket and switch it on from there and we're ready to go we just need to switch it on from back here there you go power light on and we get some we get a glow we get a glow awesome so i'll just leave this here this is going to be tucked away behind a sofa and we'll go position the satellite so next location is here in the daughter's room i'm going to place the satellite here just light it down just for ease of use plug in a wall adapter and plug in the power there i'm just going to switch that on there and that's already on we got the light we get the light Oh, just make sure they're standing proud. So I've got this little guy, a tri-band router running uh, the Wi-Fi. It's absolutely awesome, but I think the Wi-Fi distance I'm trying to get to is maybe a little bit too much for it. So what I'm going to do is turn the Wi-Fi off on this thing so the Orbi is solely running the Wi-Fi within the house. Next, I'm downloading the Netgear Orbi app. Doesn't take too long, it's uh, about 82 megabytes here. Okay, so let's open that up. Agree to the terms and conditions. Existing user, nope, new system setup. Texas devices location, yeah, why not? Record videos, do whatever you want. So here we go, we're back around by the router. So we're just gonna scan that QR code in, trying to make connection to scan network, connecting to your Orbi Wi-Fi now. If this takes more than a few minutes, uh, return to your, reboot your modem, unplug your modem, remove and reinsert any backup batteries, then plug your modem back in and wait for it to power on. Okay, so my fault, I should have powered off the modem beforehand. So here's my modem, I'm just gonna unplug it 
uh, power wise about 30 seconds will do and I'm just plugging it back in and we'll just wait for it to power on everything else is still connected modem's back up I'm gonna hit next and it says connect use a provided ethernet cable to connect to your modem or Orbeez internet router which I've already connected so I'm gonna hit next position the satellite yes I have hit next and here we are connect Orbi choose Wi-Fi go to settings Wi-Fi and join your Orbi Wi-Fi network so we'll do we'll just hit next there just sign in welcome to Orbi needs to be configured for the first time make sure your Orbi router is connected to the internet with an ethernet cable to continue which it is hit next I agree to the terms and conditions hit next again checking for internet connection successfully connected to the internet yay hit next so set up Orbi satellites let's check your satellites connection place your satellites and turn them on we'll hit next checking Orbi satellite connection exciting one Orbi satellite detected, yes. So hit setup, setting up Orbi satellites. Okay, I had to come upstairs because the son wanted to watch TV. How rude. So here we go. Username is admin, and at the moment I've got the default password, so I'll be changing this later. We'll hit next. So here we go. Network name is Orbi26, password is Manyroad111. We'll hit next. I bet I won't remember that but we can always change this later. So configuration complete. Your new admin and Wi-Fi credentials are displayed below. So admin password, Orbi26, Manic Road 111. Hit next. Oi, that's handy. You can print your Wi-Fi credentials. So we hit next. Ooh, I like this. Existing router or gateway detected. We detected an existing router or gateway on your network. You can still connect your Orbi router to your network and it will be set in router mode i like this this is clever so it's figured out i've already got a router on the on the network and i haven't switched off my old wi-fi yet so here we go okay so you can see the router is up to date the satellite though has just updated the latest firmware so i've just hit update all again and it's doing an update so far so good so here we go my satellite's flashing there awesome and here you can see the Wi-Fi so let's see if you allow me to connect did another scan got Orbi up here tap on this obtaining IP address connected no internet so now that we're connected here we come out of this and go back into the app let's do try again because I should be connected to Orbi it says you are currently connected to Orbi 26. Go to settings, Wi Fi, and connect to Orbi 26. Well, that's a bit weird. I'm already connected. Checking cables. Internet connected. Wait for your Orbi satellite ring LED to light solid white and tap next. Still flashing on and off. Still flashing on and off. Still waiting. That's still flashing, and it's been around about a minute or two. Still flashing white. I'm gonna hit next, see what happens. Detecting satellites, make sure that all satellites are powered on. Zero of one satellites found. That may be because I didn't wait for it to go solid white. My bad. Not even 30 seconds later, and it's now solid blue. I'm gonna say not white, but blue. But let's do a search again. See what it finds. Still nothing. That's a bit weird. So, try again. So nothing. There we go, third time lucky. One of one satellites found. Apply. Ooh, pink. Thought I like that matches her wallpaper. I'm hitting apply and it doesn't seem to be doing anything. There we go, satellite went blue. As you saw there, let's personalize your network settings. Orbi is now active, awesome. I would maybe prefer something on the screen telling me that it's doing something rather than just waiting for it to maybe cause an error or say something. But hey ho, here we go. So create Wi-Fi network, personalize your Wi-Fi network name, SSID and password. I'm going to leave it as standard for the time being just because I'm eager to see what it's capable of doing. So here we go. Just the Orbi SSID I'm going to use and a very simple password just so I can get into it, see what it can actually do. And we'll use the same password 
we use for admin and we got some some more, some more security questions filled in the security questions and here we go searching for orbi network wait while we search for your orbi so this is the the new wi-fi network is searching for and i called it just orbi so let's see how long this takes that took a couple of minutes but set up complete congratulations your orbi is now ready to use let's finish maybe later not right now with disney internet is saying it's offline satellite is definitely there yes so we need to sort out the internet my fault i plugged the wall socket downstairs was plugged into the wrong patch panel but plugged in correctly and here we go internet is online so back in my bedroom now and as you can see i'm connected to the new orbi network and let's have a look at the wi-fi analyzer to begin with connected to orbi there she blows so if we now do a speed test up here that's awesome that is i'm well happy with that so back in the dining room here and it was pretty good before remember still on wi-fi orbi and if we check the wi-fi analyzer and then do a speed test obviously i'm going to speed up these tests so uh, you don't have to sit through those 30 seconds or so of pure silence what it does a test but just trying it one more time just for consistency to see what it produces and it looks pretty good even if i do say so myself that's absolutely awesome so around 50 meg down in the dining room here and three up that looks awesome i'm gonna check with virgin media if actually i'm paying for 100 or 50 meg there we have it guys that was the netgear orbi and i'm pretty impressed with the results so far although it's only been a couple of minutes since i've set it up i've only done a couple of speed tests now when i was looking at wi-fi mesh systems it was a, a toss-up between this one and the velop from uh, linksys both tri-band i was only looking at tri-band systems and just purely because that extra third band is absolutely awesome just for backhauling all the data between uh, the various mesh devices around your home you need that extra band just to keep them all linked together but anyways i've got the netgear orbi do let me know in the comment section down below if you've got one of the other wi-fi mesh systems and how does that perform when you're doing various tasks normally they should be okay while browsing the web general surfing that kind of stuff but how does it perform when you push it with uh, streaming gaming or streaming videos with multiple devices around the home i really would be interesting so do let me know in the comment section down below. As ever, thanks for watching. If you're new, hit subscribe and hit that notification bell. Have a wicked day and I'll see you next time.